G'day guys and welcome back to Leaf Blob Revolution and today I took another step forward in progression. Today I finally got enough damage to be able to beat Crypt Floor 1 which is a definitely a good uh, sight to see as now I can start focusing on that to get my upgrades and make that next uh, leap in progression forward as once I can start killing these floors consistently um, I can start snowballing all the effects into more and more damage and in more and more room multiplier so I can start snowballing everything into a quicker and quicker progression which is what we like to see uh, where the last progression update which was a day or two ago I required a round 1 e3 increase in damage so how exactly do I increase my damage in by around e3 in one day one to two days well to start off with I farmed uh, raw soul stones if we go over here I've got zero at the moment but I farmed some raw soul stones through the witch and then eventually I farmed up enough iridescent essence to be able to go and get another soul boosted enemy this soul boosted enemy of the cyclops here sorry not the cyclops the centaur was actually a really really big help as it gave me two raw sto uh, soul stones besides one, which basically doubled the amount of soul stones I can get when it dropped soul stones. But it also gave me another boss to farm and get the pity counter for, which also basically doubled the amount of soul stones I was able to get, which is really, really cool. From these soul stones, I was able to go to the soul shop here. Sorry, not the shop, but before we did that, I was able to go up to the brewing and I can convert those raw soul stones and iridescent essence, combine that with bold ascension juice to create some more soul stones. Because I had a pretty high brew multiplier from all my coal leaves and a pretty high grit, I was able to only use two brews of this to be able to upgrade a 10x damage each time now it wasn't 100% 10x or I don't believe so because of some other reasons but it was pretty close to it um, so what I did was brew those four times with each upgrades went to the soul shop and I bought two upgrades in this damage multiplier here increases blow enemy damage by 10x so it was roughly around 10x like it said but I must have uh, change sets and stuff so it appeared not to be 10x but it was definitely 10x and I got that two times right there so then I was looking for another 10x in damage so how about I needed to get around to getting that 10x damage I got all the cards I could I min maxed everything here to, so all these cards are maxed for its damage I got my max tower floors my counter is really high so it couldn't really get it from there um, so the other viable option was Bolt Ventures. Bolt Ventures was slowly be getting there and I got around the recommended 88, sorry, 5e88 damage to beat the floor bosses for, uh, for Crypt Floor 1. So I started killing the enemies, got all the cards for it, because if you kill an enemy there I can start getting the cards. So I did that and then I got a bunch of cards for it right up here with these three enemies so that I can start getting damage and soul crypt bonus rewards and everything like that. But once I got to the boss I realized that I was hardly doing as much damage that I thought I was going to do. So the problem was I needed more damage but I didn't know where that damage was going to go for. But the thing that I was trying to figure out was why I wasn't doing that much damage even though that I was at the recommended amount of damage that I needed to. So I had a look around on Discord and stuff to see what I was missing and I came across something that I did forget was that the floor bosses in the crypt are actually the tower floor bosses. So that's these things right here. And what do these cards give? They give damage to that specific boss. So I quickly went into the tower, got to a tower floor skip chance so I can quickly farm my boss cards. So I farm these boss cards up to around 600-500% additional damage for all tiers for this card. And hopefully I get lucky for one that had a high enough um, additional damage for that boss. It took me a couple tries but I eventually got enough damage to do so which was very cool and I can start killing those bosses. Um, so that was the one thing that I was missing out on. From the crypt I got keys 
which are right here, key finders for those upgrades, but I got these keys right here. And I also get these particles. With these particles, I can transform them in, uh, sorry, I can start converting them into, sorry, not converting them, brewing them as well since I've unlocked it. And I can start using them in the brew shop, not the brew shop, the soul shop. I can't speak today, but you get what I'm meaning in the soul shop right here. So my plan is to go and save up for damage multiply for another 10x. This will hopefully allow me to uh, start to more effectively uh, farm the crypt floors and eventually AFK them. As well as getting some more brew multipliers. As if I get my brew multiplier up as, uh, as high as I can, I can start snowballing that so I can get infinite resources through the brew of these random materials and through these random materials I can get self-sufficient if I have enough high enough brew multiplier and I can essentially get uh, infinite artifacts as well which is also really big as well and through brew multiplier I can get more and more card parts which means that I can farm more and more cards which means more and more crits which means more and more cards which you can see the effect here it goes on and on and on which means more damage more everything more towerfuls which means we're all good for damage and everything like that and quality of life as well as all that um for the other floors i'm guessing i can start getting those entities which are the complete stars and the flasks as well once i progress down into the crypts so that is my progress for this day or two depending how long it's been i can't remember but i am hopefully in the next day or two hopefully going to get down to crypt level 20. At crypt floor 20, I unlocked the uh, a forge area where some other cool things start to happen. I unlock some new types of leaves, which I am definitely excited about. So that's what I am going to be planning in progress for the next couple of days or during the week, depending how long this takes. Thank you guys for watching today's video of progression and everything like that. Make sure you do leave a suggestion or a uh, question below if you do have any uh, of those and make sure you do put them down in the comment section below make sure you do like and subscribe and help, um sorry subscribe and like as well as it really helps me do things on this channel and also uh, it gives me an idea on what sort of content that you guys want me to see and as always have a good one